I'm Teresa with My Fix It Up Life, sharing what you need to know about living with Alzheimer's. Today we're talking about design tips for mirrors and framed art. Welcome to the Living with Alzheimer's Home Design Help Series. I'm so glad you're here. We've got a lot of helpful information to share with you that can make living with Alzheimer's and other kinds of dementia easier and way safer. So do you know someone living with Alzheimer's or other kinds of dementia? Because living with Alzheimer's is tough, but when we share what we've learned and what works best for us, it makes it easier. So I hope you'll share your experiences or ask questions in the comment section below. So let's talk about design tips for mirrors and framed art. In this video, we'll talk about what's the issue with mirrors? What can you do about mirrors? And what's the best way to frame art? So what's the issue with mirrors? We've all had a fright looking in the mirror from time to time, and it's usually because we didn't know there was spinach between those front teeth or that a perfect hair day wasn't so perfect at all. But a reflection in mirrors can be upsetting to someone with Alzheimer's in a completely different way. When some brains affected by dementia look in the mirror, they can wonder, who's that in the mirror? So it can seem strange to not recognize yourself, but if you think about how an Alzheimer's affects a brain, making short-term memories harder to stick, it can make sense. Many times people living with Alzheimer's don't think the person in the mirror is them. The face in the mirror could look like an older relative who died long ago, or even more upsetting, they could think it's a burglar or a stranger in their home. That's how someone with Alzheimer's can feel when they've forgotten what they look like as an older person. That's also why they can think their daughter is their wife or a grandchild is their child. So what can you do about the mirrors? Well, mirrors and Alzheimer's can be a tough combination. Sure, you can attempt to tell your loved one that the face they see is theirs, but honestly, if your path is trying to teach your loved one who's in that mirror, then you'll be spending the better part of every day on that conversation. And when you know your loved one is scared or confused and your time is running out, the best reaction might be to take down the mirrors and replace them with art or photos of them as a child or from a treasured moment in their lives. The Alzheimer's and dementia brain enjoys going back to those memories, the memories that they've reflected upon the most during their healthy years of their life. If there's a story that's been recounted time and time again and you have a photo, I'd display it. The memory may help start a good mood and a smile can be more difficult to find as the disease progresses. So how do you frame art without causing issues? The reflection in glass can have a similar effect on an Alzheimer's brain. So before you frame and hang memories to help your loved one reminisce, forget about the glass in the frame. Any reflection can be upsetting to someone with Alzheimer's. The brain is now processing information differently, so the reflection in the glass of that artwork might be the only thing your loved one is focused on and not the memory. I hope this design helper helped you. Do you have mirror glass or other design tips to help a loved one living with Alzheimer's? I'd love for you to share your ideas and ask us anything in the comment section below. And I hope you'll keep sharing and watching this helpful series on living with Alzheimer's. Remember, when a person is the least lovable, it's probably the time that that person needs love the most. Together, we can make life easier for families living with Alzheimer's. I'm Teresa with My Fix It Up Life, and I hope you have a great rest of the day.